Mobile, previously known as the Soconi Vacuum Oil Company, is a major American oil company which merged with Exxon in 1999 to form a parent company called ExxonMobil. It was previously one of the seven sisters which dominated the global petroleum industry from the mid-1940s until the 1970s. Today, Mobil continues as a major brand name within the combined company, as well as still being a gas station sometimes paired with its own store or on the run. The former Mobil headquarters in Fairfax County, Virginia, were used as ExxonMobil's downstream headquarters until 2015 when ExxonMobil consolidated employees into a new corporate campus in Spring, Texas. Topic history Following the breakup of Standard Oil in 1911, the Standard Oil Company of New York, or Soconi, was founded, along with 33 other successor companies. In 1920, the company registered the name Mobil Oil as a trademark. Henry Clay Folger was head of the company until 1923, when he was succeeded by Herbert L. Pratt. Beginning February 29, 1928 on NBC, Soconi Oil reached radio listeners with a comedy program, Soconiland Sketches, scripted by William Ford Manley and featuring Arthur Allen and Parker Fennelly as rural New Englanders. Soconi continued to sponsor the show when it moved to CBS in 1934. In 1935, it became the Soconi Sketchbook, with Christopher Morley and the Johnny Green Orchestra. In 1931, Soconi merged with Vacuum Oil to form Soconi Vacuum. In 1933, Soconi Vacuum and Jersey Standard, which had oil production and refineries in Indonesia, merged their interests in the Far East into a 50 to 50 joint venture. Standard Vacuum Oil Co., or Stanvac, operated in 50 countries, including New Zealand, China, and the region of East Africa, before it was dissolved in 1962. In 1935, Soconi Vacuum Oil opened the huge mammoth oil port on Staten Island which had a capacity of handling 250 million gallons of petroleum products a year and could transship oil from ocean-going tankers and river barges. In 1940, Soconi Vacuum's gasoline buying practices led to the major antitrust law case United States v. Soconi Vacuum Oil Co. The case originated with Soconi Vacuum's practices of organizing a cartel among the major oil companies in which they bought oil, known as hot oil, from independent producers and stored the surplus in tanks to limit the supply of oil available on the market and keep the price of oil artificially high. In its decision, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that regardless of the purpose of the price fixing or if the prices varied, such conduct was illegal in and of itself. Under the Sherman Act, a combination formed for the purpose and with the effect of raising, depressing, fixing, pegging, or stabilizing the price of a commodity in interstate or foreign commerce is illegal per se. This rule remains in use today for agreements that appear on their face to always or almost always restrict competition and reduce output. Output. In 1955, Soconi Vacuum was renamed Soconi Mobile Oil Company. In 1963, it changed its trade name from Mobile Oil to simply Mobile, introducing a new logo created by New York graphic design firm Chermayef and Geismer. To celebrate its 100th anniversary in 1966, Soconi was dropped from the corporate name. From 1936 to 1968, Mobil sponsored an economy run each year except during World War II in which domestic automobiles of various manufacturers in several price and size classes were driven by light-footed drivers on cross-country runs. The economy run originated with the Gilmore Oil Company of California in 1936 which was purchased by Soconi Vacuum in 1940 and later became the Mobilga's economy run, and still later the Mobil economy run. The cars driven in the economy run were fueled with Mobil gasoline, and Mobil oil and lubricants were also used. The vehicles in each class that achieved the highest fuel economy numbers were awarded the coveted title as the Mobilga's economy run winner. 
During American involvement in World War II, April 29, 1942, Sokani's unescorted tanker, named Mobile Oil, was sunk by a German U-boat, German Type 9 submarine U-108, captained by Klaus Schlotz, and all 52 people survived after 86 hours adrift in lifeboats. Soconi Mobile ranked 86th among United States corporations in the value of World War II military production contracts. Through the years, Mobile was among the largest sellers of gasoline and motor oils in the United States and even held the top spot during the 1940s and much of the 1950s. Various Mobile products during the Soconi vacuum and Soconi Mobile years included Metro, Mobilgas and Mobilgas Special Gasolines, Mobile Fuel Diesel, Mobile Heat and Mobile Flame Heating Oil, Mobile Kerosene, Lubrite, Gargoyle, Mobile Oil and Mobile Oil Special Motor Oils, Mobile Grease, Mobile Lubrication, Mobile Upper Lube, Mobile Free Zone and Permazone Antifreezes, Mobile Fluid Automatic Transmission Fluid, Mobile Premier Tires, Mobile Stop Leak, and Mobile Lustercloth, among many others. In 1954, Mobile introduced a new and improved Mobilgas special in response to trends toward new automobiles powered by high compression engines that demanded higher and higher octane gasolines. The newest formulas of Mobilgas special were advertised as offering a tune up in every tankful due to a combination of chemicals known as the Mobile Power Compound which was designed to increase power, check pre-ignition ping, correct spark plug misfiring, control stalling and combat gumming up of carburetors. Later Mobil campaigns advertised Mobilgas as the new car gasoline, following extensive testing during the annual Mobilgas economy run. In 1962, the gasoline product lines marketed as Mobilgas and Mobilgas Special were rebranded as Mobil Regular and Mobil Premium in a move to emphasize the shortened brand name, Mobil. In promotional efforts, although Mobil Oil continued as a single word term until the 1970s. After a few years of advertising Mobil gasolines as Megatane, rated and as high energy. Gasolines, Mobil began, in 1966, to promote both its regular and premium fuels as detergent gasolines, due to the inclusion of additives designed to clean carburetors and various internal engine parts. During the early 1970s, Mobil ran a TV commercial featuring a character known as Mr. Dirt to show the ruinous effects that dirt had on automotive engines for which a tank of mobile detergent gasoline could provide a cure and preventive medicine against damage that could lead to costly repairs. As automakers were switching en masse from carburetted to fuel-injected engines during the early to mid-1980s, and the detergent additives that existed in most available gasolines proved not to be enough to prevent injection clogging, leading to drivability problems, Mobil received accolades from General Motors and other automakers for increasing the detergency of its super-unleaded gasoline in 1984 to prevent formation or deposit buildups of the injectors but also remove existing deposits deposits as well in normal driving. At the end of the 1980s Mobil sold its fuel stations in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark to Norsk Hydro, who converted them into hydro stations. William P. Tavorlarias was president of Mobil Corporation until succeeded by Alan E. Murray in 1984. Mobil moved its headquarters from 150 East 42nd Street, New York City to Fairfax County, Virginia, in 1987. That same year, Mobil sold nearly all of its stations in western Pennsylvania including Pittsburgh to Standard Oil of Ohio which had just been fully acquired by BP and terminated franchise contracts with the rest of the stations in the area, withdrawing the Mobil brand from the area for 29 years until a Unimart location in Coriopolis, Pennsylvania started selling Mobil gasoline in 2016. In 1998, Mobil and Exxon agreed on a merger to create Exxon Mobil Mobile, which was completed on November 30, 1999. Lou Noto was chairman of Mobile at the time of the merger, and Walter Arnheim was treasurer.
Topic Mobile Brands Mobile continues to operate as a major brand name of ExxonMobil within the ExxonMobil Fuels, Lubricants and Specialties division. Many of its products feature the mobile symbol of a winged red horse, Pegasus, which has been a company trademark since its affiliation with Magnolia Petroleum Company in the 1930s. The mobile brand now mainly covers a wide range of automotive, industrial, aviation and marine lubricants. For historic reasons, the mobile brand is still used by mobile service stations and for fuel gasoline, diesel, heating oil, kerosene, aviation fuels and marine fuel products. There are four main mobile sub-brands. <laughs> mobile gasoline Mobil is ExxonMobil's primary retail gasoline brand in California, Florida, New York, New England, the Great Lakes and the Midwest. The Mobil brand is also used to market gasoline in Australia, Canada since 2017, Colombia, Egypt, Guam, Japan until 2020, Malaysia until 2012, Mexico starting about first quarter of 2018, New Zealand and Nigeria. The Mobil brand has a significant market presence in the following metropolitan areas. Mobil stores have made an increased presence in Arizona. Growing in size in the Phoenix area from fewer than five stations to over 20. Mobil stores have also made an increased presence in areas of northwest Oregon and southwest Washington. Exxon is the primary brand in the rest of the United States, with the highest concentration of Exxon retail outlets located in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Texas Mobile has a sizable amount of stations in Dallas and Houston, Louisiana mainly New Orleans as well as Baton Rouge and in the Mid-Atlantic and Southeastern states. Esso is ExxonMobil's primary gasoline brand worldwide. Both the Esso and Mobil brands are used in Canada since 2017, Colombia, Egypt, Japan until 2020, and formerly Malaysia, in which they were rebranded as Petron in 2013. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mobil One. Mobil One, the successor to the Mobil Oil brand, is a brand name of ExxonMobil. It was introduced in 1974 as a multi-grade 5W20 viscosity synthetic motor oil. The brand now includes multi-grade motor oils, oil filters, synthetic grease, transmission fluids, and gear lubricants. The Esso and Exxon motor oil brands have largely been discontinued. Topic: <laughs> Mobil Delvac Mobil Delvac is a range of heavy-duty lubricants designed for commercial vehicles. The range includes engine oils, transmission fluids, drivetrain lubricants and various greases. <laughs> <laughs> Mobil Industrial Mobil Industrial is a sub-brand of ExxonMobil for marketing oils and greases used in industrial applications. The main product lines are Mobil SHC synthetic oils and Mobil grease greases. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Former Mobil brands. Topic: Discount gasoline stations. Mobile rebranded numerous stations to the High Val, Relo, and Cello discount gasoline brands after major price increases following the 1970s oil crisis made a significant number of consumers extremely price conscious. The stations were converted mobile stations selling convenience store items in the station lobby, while the service bays were rented to customers for do-it-yourself auto repairs. These brands were discontinued in the 1980s, after the gasoline market had recovered. Convenience stores 
Mobile expanded the sale of convenience store items first pioneered at its discount gasoline stations under the Mobile Mart brand. Mobile continued to refine and enhance its convenience store offerings with the On the Run C store brand, which proved to be much more popular. On the Run was sold to Alimentation Couch Tard, operator of the Circle K convenience store chain. Some On the Run locations were sold to 7 Eleven. Topic. Mobile Travel Guide The Mobile Guide was an annual book of hotel and restaurant recommendations based on a system developed by Mobile in 1958. It rated businesses from 1 to 5 stars according to their assessed quality. In October 2009, ExxonMobil licensed the brand to Forbes magazine, which retitled the guide's various designations, e.g., Forbes Travel Guide, Forbes Five Stars, and so on. Forbes launched revised versions of various guides in late 2009. <laughs> Lukoil transaction In 2000, Lukoil purchased the remaining assets of Getty Oil and began opening Lukoil stations in the U.S. in 2003. Most of the U.S. Lukoil locations are converted Getty stations, although some are also converted mobile stations bought from ConocoPhillips when that company left the Northeast. In spring 2004, Lukoil purchased 779 mobile gas stations throughout New Jersey and Pennsylvania, and in 2005 began converting them to the Lukoil brand. Most New Jersey mobile locations were converted to Lukoil stations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mobile UK Vacuum Oil Company started selling lubricating oils in Europe in the late 19th century. By the 1930s its Mobil oil had become one of the main brands. Mobil gradually expanded its operation into fuels retailing as well, and opened its first UK service stations in the early 1950s, after the wartime pool monopoly was disbanded. Mobil grew to become the seventh largest brand of petrol in Britain, supplying 1,990 outlets in 1965, and claimed in the mid-1960s to be the first company to operate 100 self-service stations. As well as its downstream interests, Mobil was active in the North Sea and operated an oil refinery in Coryton opened in 1953, on the Thames estuary. In 1996, Mobil's fuels operations in Europe were placed into a joint venture 70% owned by BP, and the Mobil brand disappeared from service stations. Mobil continued to sell lubricants through BP and independent service stations. Following Mobil's merger with Exxon, at the start of 2000 BP acquired all the petrol retailing assets as well as the Coryton refinery but sold it to Petroplus in 2007. Mobil returned to being purely a lubricant brand in Europe, and became the premium quality oil on sale at Esso service stations. <inaudible> <inaudible> Mobil Australia The Vacuum Oil Company began operating in Australia in 1895, introducing its plume brand of petrol in 1916. The Flying Red Horse Pegasus logo was introduced in 1939, and in 1954 the plume brand was replaced by Mobilgas. Mobil Australia's corporate office is in Melbourne. In 1946 Mobil commenced construction of a refinery at Altona in Melbourne's western suburbs, which originally produced lubricating oils and bitumen, before producing motor vehicle fuels in 1956. It is still in use. A second refinery at Port Stanvac, south of Adelaide, came on stream in 1963, but was closed in 2003. Mobil commenced removal of the refinery in July 2009, together with site remediation works. In 1990, Mobil acquired the service station network of Esso Australia. 
On 27 May 2009, Caltex Oil Australia Limited announced it would be acquiring 302 mobile service stations in Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney and Adelaide, subject to approval of the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission. The ACCC subsequently announced its opposition to the takeover, citing the likelihood of increased fuel prices due to diminished competition. On the 27th of May 2010, 7-Eleven announced that it had acquired Mobil's entire Australian network of 295 service stations. At the same time, it was announced that 7-Eleven had sold 29 South Australian service stations to Peregrine Corporation. Peregrine's acquisition will see Mobil's sites in South Australia rebranded to on-the-run convenience stores, but they will continue to be supplied by Mobil. The company remains the Australian fuel and car product supplier of 7-Eleven. Store renovations and openings since 2013 have included prominent placement of the Mobil logo as advertised fuel supplier, usually underneath the 7-Eleven logo on main signage as well as on petrol pumps. Topic: Mobile New Zealand. Mobile is the oldest oil company in New Zealand with commercial operations dating back to 1896. It first began operating in New Zealand under the Standard Oil brand name, selling kerosene in the 1870s. Early in 1896, Vacuum Oil of New York established a marketing office on Featherston Street in Wellington selling lamp oil and harness grease. It brought with it extensive collective production, marketing and management skills that presented a major advancement in business organization. The company's unrivaled mineral lubricant products and associated services quickly dominated the market. When New Zealanders began taking to the motorcar in the early 20th century, vacuum oil expanded into the oil refining business. Its marketing network and transportation fleet grew as it extended its range of operation. The company continued to meet New Zealand's fuel needs throughout World War I holding roughly 85% of the market. However, after the war vacuum oil began facing very strong competition from a number of multinational oil companies which began setting up operations in New Zealand. Among these competitors was the Atlantic Union Oil Company, another of ExxonMobil's historical companies. Atlantic Union was bought by the New Jersey-based Standard Oil Company, which would later become Exxon, and its Eastern Hemisphere interests were merged with those of Soconi Vacuum Oil Company to create the Standard Vacuum Oil Company. The new company continued operations in New Zealand under both the Vacuum and Atlantic Union brand names. On November 30, 1999, Exxon Corporation and Mobil Oil Corporation merged with Mobil Oil New Zealand Limited, now owned by new entity ExxonMobil. The company currently owns a 17.2% share in the New Zealand Refining Company Limited, which operates an oil refinery at Marsden Point near the city of Whangarei. It supplies roughly 20% of the total fuels market in New Zealand which most of its products sourced from the Marsden Point refinery. Mobile Oil New Zealand Limited operates over 150 locations across the country either as mobile-owned stations or as franchises. It also operates six storage locations across the country maintaining a reputation as a dominant petroleum company in New Zealand. Topic: Mobile Greece. The first petrol station of Mobile in Greece opened in March 4, 1955. Up until 1970, had opened about 100 petrol stations of the company. On the March 1, 1999, Mobile closed its remaining petrol stations in Greece. Topic Mobil in Japan Since the 1960s, SO and Mobil stations in Japan had been run by Tonen General Sekiu, which had a controlling stake owned by ExxonMobil. In 2012, the company bought out much of ExxonMobil's stake, reducing it to a 22% minority. 
In 2016, ExxonMobil sold the remainder of its stake. In 2017, the company announced that it would merge with JX Group to form JXTG Holdings, with its petroleum business operating as JXTG Nippon Oil and Energy. Following the merger, it was announced that both the ESO and Mobil brands would be phased out by 2020, and replaced by the JX originated NAOS banner. Topic: Mobil in Canada. In April 2017, Loblaw Companies sold its network of 213 gas stations, all of which are attached to its various grocery store locations, to Brookfield Business Partners. Brookfield announced that it would license the Mobil brand from ExxonMobil for use on these locations, making them a sister to Imperial Oil's network of ESO branded gas stations in Canada. As part of the sale agreement, the Mobil stations continue to offer Loblaw's PC Optimum Rewards program, which ESO also joined the following year. Brookfield stated that it would open further Mobil stations beyond the Loblaw properties. Topic: Mobile Egypt. In Egypt, ExxonMobil's operations started in 1902. It is known for providing quality lubricants and fuels as well as convenience products. It offers more than 350 service stations, more than 40 Mobile One centers, and a variety of industrial products, lubrication programs, and services. Some stations in Cairo, Alexandria and Giza feature on the run convenience stores. See also Mobile Showcase Network <laughs>